Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Uh, just got done working out, and that's why uh, why I've got on such a such a nice outfit today. And wanted to talk about uh, something I was thinking about was Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.1. Now, if you're a Final Cut Pro user, you may have noticed that oh, App Store has a new Final Cut Pro 10 update. Now, there's a lot more to it than the updates in the past where they updated the application and there wasn't any it, there weren't many true visual changes now I'm not saying this in a negative way I actually like the uh, the new pieces that uh, Final Cut Pro 10.1 is brought to the table and that's what I want to talk about in this video so immediately after you upgrade to 10.1 and actually before you upgrade you'll probably notice that they're really trying to promote the uh, the Mac Pro, which is the new highest end Mac, which seems to be a great system. Now, granted, it just came out a uh, completely new form factor, and and uh, they tried to tout the Mac Pro within this 10.1 update. So what it does, and I just run the 27-inch uh, iMac Haswell, and I love that system, by the way. I'm on a triple monitor rig right now, so when you see me looking around, it's because I'm uh, illustrating uh, what's in these, what's in this update. So, when you first install 10.1 Final Cut Pro update from the App Store, you're going to notice that it's going to ask about your uh, your projects and events, and it's going to ask you if you want to keep your old project and events, projects and events rather. And that's what I did because anytime I upgrade an application. I'm always hesitant to risk losing my old data and I've got tons of terabytes of video, of HD video, so I can't afford to lose that. So when I upgraded to 10.1 Final Cut Pro, I opted to keep the old stuff. Now here's where it gets interesting. So when you launch Final Cut Pro 10.1, you're probably going to want to find your projects and you're used to them being in a certain place and your events being in another place. One of the things that Final Cut Pro 10 does, 10.1 rather, it'll merge your uh, your projects within your event. So, for example, my Irish Skies Adventure Channel. I've got an event that's Irish Skies Adventure Channel. And now, when I go into that, I'll see all of my Irish Skies Adventure Channel projects in the same thing. So, events and projects are together now. Now, one of the other uh, immediate things that you'll notice if you go to your uh, to your drive where you store your where you store your uh, whoa, 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 big Maine Coon cat if you go to your drive where you store your Final Cut Pro 10 projects in my case I use a uh, concatenated disk set so I've got right now I've got 16 terabytes of disk so I've got those physical disks combined and what appears to Mac OS X is one single disk. So now when I go in there, I'll see my my old directory that I had, and it's still got the Final Cut events and Final Cut project subdirectories. So that's what one's accustomed to seeing with the previous version of Final Cut Pro. Now here's where it's get here's where it gets different. You're gonna see this icon, and in my case, and I'm sure it's probably across the board, there's four little stars. And it's entitled uh, Projects and Events. And it's a sparse bundle. So unlike in the past where you could go into uh, Final Cut Events and Final Cut Projects, now they're all part of a sparse bundle. But curiously enough, when I do a side-by-side -side comparison, when I look at my, my old Final Cut Projects and Events, the folder that contained two subfolders, it's 1.97 terabytes in size. And then when I look at the new projects and events sparse bundle that was created with the 10.1 upgrade, it's 1.53 terabytes in size. So, and that's something I'm still evaluating. I'm making sure that all my video video content's still there before I consider removing that old thing but I'm assuming that this that since it's part of a sparse bundle that it's likely helping to uh, to conserve a little bit of disk space there but that's interesting 
Other functionality things that I noticed right out of the box, and keep in mind, I've I'm a uh, Final Cut Pro power user. I mean, I've Irish Guys Adventure Channel right now. We're we're over uh, over 2,200 videos. Quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of video content. Not all of that's been created with Final Cut Pro 10, but a big chunk of it has. So in Final Cut Pro 10.1, you're going to notice if you use the uh, if you use the blade or the blade all, you're going to notice that that's now under a uh, menu heading of trim. Uh, you're also going to notice that if you if you use compress compressor, there was an update of compressor as well, which was pretty neat. Haven't really torn into it yet. I know that uh, with the previous compressor version, that that myself and others had a lot of struggles with getting the uh, the cluster to work, clustering multiple Macs to uh, to help speed up the process, but the the compression process. But I, I want to play with that in the new version and try to post a video. Uh, some other interface changes. It's uh, You'll notice that when you export or when you share videos, now after the share is complete, it's got a little pop-up that comes up on your screen. It says share successful and then share if whatever uh, export format you were using was successful. So kind of like those notifications that you see for other Ma Mavericks applications. Those are the main things that I do. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I still have access. I haven't found any event or project that was lost as a result of the upgrade, which that's a good thing. And I've been able to uh, to create my new videos, you know, no problem. Haven't, uh, haven't had any problems. I, I use quite a bit of motion, uh, Apple motion generators. All of those Apple motion generators came through. So no problems there. Also, all of my audio, it you know, it's visible in there as well. So I didn't, uh, I didn't seem to lose any of that. So I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, at first glance, you're, you're going to notice these subtle differences. Is it better? Is it worse? Well, I can say from my experience, and granted, I haven't used it that long yet, but from my experience so far. It does seem, at least on, and like I said, I run a, the current model, 27-inch iMac Haswell, decked out, fastest processor, uh, 32 gigs of memory, and all flash-based. So, you know, that, that'll give you an idea of my specs, but just as a result of upgrading to the 10.1 Final Cut Pro 10, I've noticed that the, uh, that the rendering seems to be a little bit faster, and also the, uh, the share. And, and I've used the same settings. I use 10, I use video sharing services 1080p for my projects. And I've noticed that it uh, exports more quickly. And so it seems that they've they bumped up the uh, the performance of this Final Cut Pro 10 product. So I'm excited about it. And like I said, I haven't really delved that deeply into it yet. But as I do. I intend to post more videos and check out all my existing Final Cut Pro 10 videos. I've got quite a few of them. Uh, it's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Share this video and any of my videos with others and tell me what your thoughts are. What have you found in Final Cut Pro 10.1? Y'all have a good day.